everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought of uh, doing another color spotlight so i just grabbed a bunch of colors from my box um, these are the colors that i don't normally use or they're not in my palette so i wanted to see if we can experiment with them so i have here bright violet permanent magenta i have shell pink and shadow green okay so before we start i'd like to um, show you guys this canvas lamp which you might have seen in my previous videos but in case it's your first time this is a nice phone holder that i use all the time for filming everything that i post on social media so you can easily move it up and down and you can even turn this knob so that you can change the angle okay so i've loosened the knob here and you can see that we can try to move it around so easily so a light function here at the bottom but i don't use it as much since i film um, during daylight but i only use that during gloomy or rainy days so that's it so for the price it is a bit pricey but i definitely think it's worth it if you make a lot of content and maybe this is a sign for you to get that birthday gift for yourself or just some um, celebration anyway i'm gonna put the link below and also the special code so that you'll get 10 percent off okay so for my reference i have this book called the flower color theory and i think this looks great i love the flowers here and maybe i'll combine with some beautiful peonies i'm not sure let's see how it goes all right let's start with some big and bold peonies this is the color shell pink it's a nice um, pastel pink color that has a little bit more yellow compared to brilliant pink so this is actually brilliant pink so i just have a little bit of white gouache there but this is brilliant pink and this is shell pink so you can see the difference okay so i think i'm gonna do some broad strokes using this filbert brush or um this is called point pointed oval from the silver brush line let's just do so this one has a bit more opaque um feel because i think it has some white in it let's just do some nice quick strokes a little bit of that permanent magenta just to add some depth okay, so in the middle i'm gonna put some permanent yellow deep let's create these small short strokes next um i wanted to use uh, maybe permanent magenta with a little bit of bright violet for like these roses we're gonna try to make them i wanted to also experiment with this cat's tongue brush let's just grab this color i think i can mix it with a little bit of bright violet I would, yeah yeah this is bright violet i love the bold color looks really nice I'm just gonna scribble some thin lines curved lines in the center and just rinse my brush I'm gonna use 
use a bigger bigger round brush for this and grab a little bit of this permanent magenta some big broad petals okay let's go ahead with this um shadow green So we now have two big flowers here. We're going to add some smaller or medium ones. We have here some white gouache and I'm going to put some bright violet. Mix it with the white gouache. So we have a nice <clears throat> pastel color. Have some green gold here. Okay. can grab this permanent magenta I think I'm gonna put some really small flowers here I have some small ditzy flowers just to fill in this gap you can rinse your brush so that we can create some lighter petals so I really am just experimenting and just, just looking at how this will go don't have an exact plan so this is like a good way for you to also um, practice probably do some florals like this let's just I and copy those petals. Just press your brush. And you just need to vary the uh, pressure in each stroke. So you put a darker base. And then add some green. Okay. Okay, so I think we need a bit more contrast. I do like these small uh, fillers here. So maybe we can try and add that. Let's grab this permanent magenta. And put some right here. And grab a little bit of that green. Just gonna mix them. Just tap my brush. Then later on, um, you can actually put a little bit of white gouache as highlight. Okay, I think it looks better now. We need to really add some texture so that it doesn't look boring. By the way, 
I am using this brush from Silver Brush again. This is the old Tremini. I think this is called the long round or the designer round. I'm just gonna put it in the link below. I'm gonna grab some sap green because I feel like the shadow green is a bit too dark for this composition, but you can mix these two colors and we add some uh, more leaves. Also put some small fillers right here. Grab some more of these, uh, this shell pink just to kind of distribute the color all over. Add some more stem. Okay, so now we can add a second layer. This is just the violets here with a little bit of green to make it a bit darker. Rinse your brush and kind of fade away the strokes to make them look softer. Okay, next we can add some layering here in the center. I'm gonna grab maybe burnt sienna. Okay. I'm still using the cat's tongue brush. So I'm just using the tip to create these nice thin strokes. Let me put the small center right there. Do a second layer for this one. I'm gonna use the same color and just create some more brush markings on top. Maybe we can add a little bit of that violet just to create a different color. Okay, let's grab some white gouache and I'm going to put it on top of the dark fillers. I will give it a little bit of texture. So that it doesn't look too like too clumpy. It will just break apart those strokes. Make it look really nice. Of course, you can add a little bit of some white veins if you want. Just for some extra color. Alright, so that's it for our video. I think it looks great um, except for the shadow green I wasn't able to use it as much um, because I feel like it's just too heavy for this composition I do love the mix of um, a pastel color like shell pink with something bold and really bright like bright violet and this permanent magenta so I think it, the contrast looks great but I would probably change the green and make it sap green instead. Also, the addition of white gouache is really nice. It just gave 
this piece a um, bit more character and more depth all right so that's it for this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future art videos and of course if you want to learn more in-depth watercolor classes i do have a lot of loose floral classes on skillshare you can check out the link below so that um, you can get sign you can sign up for the one month free trial that is for new students okay i'll see you in the next video bye